And we start with the talks that are happening right now in Seoul between the chief nuclear envoys from South Korea, the United States and Japan as they seek ways to kickstart the long-stalled six-party talks on North Korea's denuclearization. For more, we have our Hwang sang on the line. So, sang uh, have the three, three officials made much progress? Hi, Mark. The talks are still underway, so we don't have much details on the results yet. But opening day's talk, South Korea's chief nuclear negotiator, Hwang Jung-guk, noted the timeliness of the meeting. He said the talks come amid heightened tensions on the Korean peninsula due to North Korea's continued advancement of its nuclear and missile program, and added that Seoul, Washington and Tokyo will cooperate closely against North Korean threats. Now, Pyongyang has recently claimed progress in its nuclear program and tested a submarine-launched ballistic missile. There is also increased uncertainty surrounding the regime following reports that several senior officials have been removed. The South Korean envoy said the three parties will also work with China and Russia for the ultimate goal of denuclearizing North Korea. In fact, Pong and his American counterpart, Sun Kim, will fly to Beijing tomorrow to meet China's chief nuclear negotiator, Wu Dawei. Now, Japanese envoy Junichi Ihara reportedly met with Wu before his visit to Seoul, and this back-to-back -back diplomacy with China is a sign of uh, close cooperation with Beijing on the issue. In about half an hour from now, each official will speak to the press on the outcome of the meeting, so I'll have more details on today's talks in our later newscast. This has been Hwang Sang-hee reporting live from Lotte Hotel in Seoul.